Hello, hello guys. Uh, this is Bongi again from JPV Technologies, uh, JPV Computers. Anyway, I have a parcel. Anyway, guys, we do more of mail in repairs coming from uh, different places. And uh, what I have here, I believe this is a Lenovo. Anyway, guys, it's nice to be back. I'm going to do more and more of YouTube uh, videos. <clears throat> anyway, I was uh, struggling with the mic. So I don't have the mic at the moment. So that's why I prefer to do uh, voiceovers. And it seems to be working perfectly fine, guys. And if you have any issues with my voiceovers, please let me know. And I'm not using a proper mic. I'm just using a phone and this is an iphone and what i have there it's a lenovo and it wasn't turning on at all and this belongs to my friend energetic tech he's from all the way from limbombo makuban you know i'm from kzn and he's from limbombo and what i have there it's his machine normally what i do i prefer to do a physical inspection Guys, I always advise you, before you do a motherboard repair or a level board repair, always start with the basic. First thing first, you need to do a physical inspection. So normally when I repair a board, I will take the motherboard, look around, look everywhere, look for any suspicious components around the board. And there I was flipping the board all over around and I couldn't find any uh suspicious component on the board and as you can see guys you have to do the second step second step we have to take your multimeter and we have to check what for a shot okay let me explain this guys you know we have the uh 19 volts on the 19 volts you have the charging port after the charging port you will have the 19 uh, i mean the mosfet the first mosfet after the second mos um, we have the first mosfet after, after the first uh, MOSFET, you will have the second MOSFET. After the second MOSFET, you won't have the dead MOSFET. No, you won't have the dead MOSFET part. You will have what? You will have the current sensor. Okay, here, I remember very well. What I have to do here, the first step, I had to uh, trace the power, the 19 volts. See how the 19 volts flows from the charging port into the first mosfet i couldn't identify the first mosfet so i had to look around prop around and then compare the the points see where the power see how the power is flowing from the charging port straight into the first mosfet i couldn't find the first mosfet you know it took me a time it took me a while as you can see on the video i had to move around prop around until i found the charging port all right and guys my <sighs> sorry about that my multimeter gives me issues so i had to cut my props not my props but cut the props connectors i feel like the thing was too much so i had to use the razor to cut the positive and cut the negative until the connector connects straight into the multimeter All right, guys, as you can see me there, I'm comparing the two points. You can see my hands. One is far away from the other one. So I was checking how the power flows. And luckily, I got how the power flows. And the multimeter was beeping. It was giving me 0 0.5 ohms. Which means there was a connection from the charging port into the first MOSFET. Anyway, I will show you everything uh, step by step, guys. First thing, let me repeat again, I had to find how the power flows from the charging port straight into the first MOSFET. That's your first task. You need to be able to locate your first and the second MOSFET. They won't use the same company. Some they will use the bigger MOSFET. Sometimes they will use smaller MOSFET. But you have to be able to locate the two points, guys.
as you can see, I normally take time. You know, I, I don't really just rush into the motherboard and then rush to quickly fix the board. You know, guys, you will never fix something that you don't understand. You need to understand how the power flows. Okay, as you can see me there, I was connect. I mean, the charging ports and the charger was connected. So I had to trace the power. I had to find the source. I have to find the power. The charging port was connected. I had to trace the power. All right, I think I remember what I was doing right there. Okay, on, when you you have the first and the second MOSFET, if one of those MOSFETs is shorted, meaning if it allows power to pass one way, it's shorted and, and, it, and it's breached, it acts like a fuse, then you have a problem. If one of those MOSFETs is shorted, it means you have what? You have a problem, guys. You shouldn't have any shorted MOSFET at all. If one of them is shorted, the other one won't allow power to pass. So I had to show you under the microscope. As you can see, guys, I had to prepare my scope. Okay, anyway, in the hours, I will guide you everything. And guys, it's funny that the first and the second MOSFETs were far away from the charging port like far away from the charging port it was on the other side of the port far away as you can see those were my first and the second mosfets you can't even see the current center guys okay i think i've did uh, mention this whenever the laptop is not turning on check your charger and you have to check the first and the second mosfet that step is very 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 important guys you need to check your first and the second mosfet always okay and these are your first and the second mosfet and the dead component is a current center if one of those is shorted let me repeat again if one of those is shorted you won't have any 19 volts going through the board especially on the latest machines maybe the old one but the latest ones i'm guarantee you you won't have the power going to the board what do i mean if it's shorted if it allows power to move one side to another side always and guys on the mosfet we have four four three three those four digits they, they you know they will guide you to see whether it's a p or it's an n channel mosfet if the last number of which is three on our case it and it, it's an odd number it means it's an p channel mosfet if that number was an even number maybe like two six eight uh four whatever the case or ten no not ten man maybe four or eight or six two the trust gonna be what and even number and you'll have what and that will be what that should be and n channel mosfet all right let's continue the way um okay i will guide you step by step guys this board is fine you can see the current center it's on the other side of the board it's not it's far away from the first mosfet and it's r010 it's always r010 if not r010 it's gonna be r020 there i was checking for a shot guys you have to check both like each and like check the first one and check another one you have to check them but unfortunately that one was shorted as you can see me there there was changing that's a mosfet i i didn't waste any time i have to just go straight there and then replace it you know why because it was shorted it was beeping when i checked on both ends it was allowing power to to flow it was acting more like a wire so i had to change it right straight up i didn't waste any time at all guys i believe you can see 
I found a replacement. That was 7506. But today I had to take what? Take a guess. That was an N channel MOSFET. So I just took a guess because that number, it wasn't clear on the other one. So I had to guess and then just replace it with what? With an N channel MOSFET. But let me get you guys. We don't have to guess. We have to do a research. You have to search for what you have. Just type those four numbers and say that's a shit. Definitely you will have all the answers. They will tell you whether it's a P channel MOSFET or it's an N channel MOSFET. They're gonna guide you guys. And it's easy like A, B, C. As always, guys, once you are done, you have to put back everything. So in this case, I had to put back everything. And I had to connect the charger and turn on the machine. There it was resetting. You can see the screen. It was blinking on and off, but nothing on the screen. No data. Nothing. But finally, it's turned on. And I was very, very happy. Anyway, guys, before I go, don't forget to do what? To subscribe on my YouTube channel so that you will get more and more and learn more. Anyway, bye-bye.